So recently with the new update, we actually got data of something that is quite interesting for this new light lit new, <laughs> for the light list, not, not new for sure. And it is a possible holy relic coming potentially for anniversary. Now, the reason why this image specifically that is from the 70s leaks discord could be a holy relic is because al amongst all the files we got from the new update, we had outfits. And usually when outfits drop, they drop in the whole outfit, the headpiece, the weapon, and the uh, chest piece. But when it's a holy relic, it drops just a weapon because a holy relic is just a weapon. So this is a very plausible holy relic for a new, um, or for Light Liz. And um, that would be pretty great. Anniversary is coming up. We are s about five weeks away from anniversary. And it would be the perfect time to drop a Holy Relic for Light Liz, because she is the uh, latest anniversary unit. Who knows what the new anniversary unit will be, but for them to drop a Holy Relic for the most recent anniversary unit, that would be actually pretty good. It would, it would be great for Mael, because as much as I'm sure everyone loves Goddess Liz, everyone is so happy that we got to face Goddess Liz once again in the meta every single match, um... I would like a change up. Even if Light Liz isn't immensely better than Goddess Liz, at least options for other pe for people to, you know, think of using over her. I mentioned that on the Red Liz, like, troll. Oh, it wasn't troll, but the costume video where I used Red Liz's costume on Blue Liz. And people, I mentioned, like, I wish the new character that we got was actually a character that was usable in PvP. And I got people like, uh, if her passive worked in PvP, it would be OP, are you stupid? They're like, no, no, that's not what I meant. I just meant like, it would be great if we got like a new Goddess Liz. It doesn't have to be that specific passive of 30% extra attack related stats, that's stupid. Just a passive that works, right? Instead of a character that has one function for whatever she's meant to be used for, who knows, but we still don't know. Um... And nothing else doesn't work in PvP, doesn't work in PvE. Those types of characters need to be excluded from the game, honestly. Like, if your character is going to be very specific, at least make them somewhat usable in other activities as well. Like, for example... Oh my god. The, the, the difference between having Nanashi passive and not having, like, Mayo and Ludo here? Jesus Christ. Um... For example, right? Oh my gosh, she full healed. I don't even know. Yeah, Goddess Liz Margaret is an infinitely better team <laughs> than this. I put Margaret. I put Green Ludo because I never use him because he kind of sucks. But I should have put Margaret. That is on me for uh, going out of the norm here. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. But also, that's great. I was talking to something about Red Liz. Oh yeah, um, a character characters are meant to be used for something, but end up being good in other places. Like Green Brynhildr and Red. I say Red, but there's only one Freyr. Freyr was meant to be used for dogs. He released with dogs, and clearly he was, you know, in a way designed for the activity by canceling ignites, but still. He is a fantastic character all around and used for many other things. I like characters like that, you know? Not characters that are like Megelda or to an extent Yorm again. Like Yorm is so OP for what she does, but still. Where it's like it only works in one activity. And you know, you're good. But that's a... Or even worse, a character like the new Red Liz. Where she is meant to be used for something. Who knows what? We'll, we'll find out one day, maybe. She's meant to be used for something, we don't know what. Um, and for the thing that she's meant to be good for, we don't even, like, it's not even good. Not even that good. I'm gonna back out of this match, what what am I playing? I'm not using a good team, because I'm using Light Liz. I mean, Light Liz needs a relic. Like, you, everyone will agree with me, Light Liz needs a relic, she is not good. Like, you have to be reasonable and state that, like, yeah, sure. She's not horrible, but you have to admit as well that she competes with Goddess Liz, which is better than her. Goddess Liz, I don't know how I can even say this, 
Freaking Goddess Liz is a better unit than her. Which sounds stupid, but it's true. At least I got your ult with Liz. I haven't seen this ult in a while. Uh, we're playing geared, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna wipe, but... And it's unknown, which is a super stupid tanky team. Yeah, of course not. <laughs> of course not. I want to give another chance to green Ludo Xiao. It's not every day I use him. And after I record this video, who knows when I'm gonna use him again. It's not like, you know, Light Liz. Light Liz, I don't like her very much. I don't like what she does very much. I think she's kind of ass. But she's gonna get a Holy Relic eventually. Maybe this anniversary. So, but this green Lucian, he kind of sucks. And he already has a Holy Relic. So, unless they come up with a new system of Holy Relics, which I'm all for. If that means that, like, Bird and Deer gets reused because... God knows they ain't making any more relics for bird and deer ever again. There's no, they're never making it again. Please do. I would, <laughs> please do, but I don't think they will. They haven't done a single bird and deer relic in so long. I don't think they will ever again. They're just going to make it for the new beast and maybe dog sometimes, but mostly the new beast. Uh, if it is a way of them actually going back and making bird relics, I would love that. You know, chest pieces, whatever. This is some classic Liz AoEs with high ult level. Okay, maybe I... That's fine. Maybe I overestimated her a little bit, but it is a very tanky team. As much as... It doesn't really matter that he's attack lowering me because... It, first, he can't, but, uh, you know, she uses HP. Um... That's alright. Hey, I have everything under the sun on Liz. She is encroached. Which doesn't work, but you know, still. And she's disabled, but I'm still gonna go with the ultimate, baby. Let's go. Actually, I need to attack first. How many stacks does she have? So annoying, her passive. Uh, I'll attack first with Ludo. So she gets, uh... Gets her passive to proc, actually. Yep. Her passive's so ass. I don't know what they could do with her Holy Relic to make her good. I don't think they're gonna make anything of her passive, to be honest. If I had to guess what they could do with the Holy Relic, I don't think they're gonna change anything substantial. And might go on the same direction that they did with the... Let's go for Goddess Liz, why not? Yeah, let's go for Margaret. With the... Zaldra's Holy Relic, where Zaldra's Holy Relic increases his damage by 20%, and basic stats for demons. I think that that is something like more reasonable for this Liz. I don't think they're gonna give her anything too crazy, because also if they do give her anything too crazy, she could become a little overpowered. She is on that weird line where she's pretty good, but not good enough. You know what I mean? But then if she crosses too much, she might be too good. It's weird. Okay. I don't think I can break this shield. Because this card ain't doing much. But I'll try. Gosh darn, I'll try. How did he know I had so many Liz cards, man? How? Someone tell me. Please break the shield. Please break the shield. Thank you. Ludo, not doing too bad, actually. Not doing too bad. I'm, I'm utilizing the fact that I have Ludo, and I put Bond in the back instead of having uh, Nanashi. I just default put Nanashi in there because it's Nanashi, but Bond is a better combo. So if I had to guess, I think they could do it like when she procs her passive, right? So after the six cards are used, she gives all allies more basic stats, and she gets damage increase. Honestly, I think that that would be reasonable. Wouldn't make her too OP. And she might be good enough that people will consider using her. But it would have to be actually something significant to actually make her do true good damage. Also, before anyone complains, they let the slime win. It was a bot, right? It was a bot, so I'll put their, their team like that. Just let other people get wins for free. 
There's no real players. I, I, we did face a real player just right now, basically, with uh, that goddess team, but it's like... These days, it's really hard to find real players, I'll tell you. There's no one playing the game. It's tough to say that, and it's bad for me to even say this, because obviously, it's not a good look, but it's true. I will not be, you know, neglecting the truth. There's not much going on, you know? People that play the game on a consistent basis are probably like, eh, you know, there's not much going on. I'll just I'll do my dailies maybe and log off, or maybe I'll do ungeared, right? And then go off. I like playing geared more. Maybe I should just play more ungeared. But even on ungeared, it's pretty hard to find players these days. So, yeah, this guy's a bot. Like, especially on JP. Uh, might be last battle on global. On JP, though, it's pretty tough right now pretty tough i don't like you i, I don't even expect you know about wow, didn't kill okay to be fair i shouldn't have expected to kill it's lucio it's not anyone amazing anyway let me know what you think about this getting a relic should is she getting a relic too soon i mean it's been a year i think in in her state she deserves one i think honestly you know Trader Mally should get a relic as well. It would be so cool for any if they gave a free holy relic and they dropped Liz and Trader Mally relic. So you could choose between one of them, which one you want. And honestly, it's a difficult choice for a lot of players. You could be like, oh, Trader Mally, of course. But like, I mean, if you run goddesses and the relic for Liz is really good, you might have to think about it, right? They won't do that. I'm just fantasizing about the game being cool, right? If I if I had my way, that's what I would do. I would drop both of these relics for anniversary and give uh, a relic. Like, give the materials to craft a relic so you can craft which one you want. And you have to make a choice. Either way, we'll see.